One, two. Don't tell me that they're all the same. Cause even the sound of his name carries me over their reach back to. One of my like constant goals is to always be improving and learning about whatever it is I decide to put my time into. And obviously one of those things is making videos. I love making these and I always want to keep improving them. But the thing is with that for me, it starts taking more and more time. And I don't want to leave you guys hanging, you know, and I feel bad for everybody who's been so freaking rad and supported me on Patreon and you know, only be uploading a video like once a month. So like right now I'm working on two different videos, got two ideas going and I, I think that'll be dope, but I want to be able to put the time into them, you know, and just be patient with it and make something cool that I'm proud of and push myself creatively. But I thought in the meantime, why not just do like a weekly deal, you know, and just run through the week and show what I'm doing. It's everyday life stuff, a bit more laid back and yeah. Just hang out, talk about stuff. So one of the main things that's been going on the past few months is this. The house is being renovated. Still probably another couple of months to go until it's finished, but it was gutted. <laughs> It was literally just the walls left and everything is completely different now. It was a little sad at first because I've lived in this house for a long time, since I was five, so over 20 years. And so it was just like kind of sad seeing it all ripped apart, which like I didn't expect that, but yeah, I've kind of moved on from that now and just super excited for it to be finished. I think it's going to turn out amazing. Uh, I was going to show you what I was going to make for tea tonight, but uh, I just want to make something quick now. So uh, I'm going to show you what Gemma made me. It was like a few nights ago. I was visiting her in Melbourne. It was like a soba noodle salad type of deal, and it was super dope. I just ran a whopping 2Ks because I have a very sore chest. <laughs> I fell off a mountain bike mucking around last weekend and I re-injured, I fell really hard on my side here and I re-injured my chest in the exact same way uh, I did when I fell over during Lavarado and it's an extremely frustrating and painful injury. I thought it was fine, like it's been getting better and I thought it'd be sweet to run today but as soon as I started running it just aggravated it straight away so I had to stop. And uh, yeah, not only that, like the day after it happens I suddenly just had no energy again and I was just feeling really crappy and that got me sort of feeling pretty down because I had felt like I'd just got, you know, some momentum going again and then I was back to square one but... That lasted about a week. Thankfully, you know, my energy's come back now. I saw my specialist a few days ago and everything's looking pretty good. My blood test is sweet and everything. So what can you do? Just got to uh, stay positive, stay patient. Don't ride mountain bikes. So this is actually a gift from a subscriber, Mark, who insisted on sending me this. I told him it wasn't necessary, but he really wanted to do it. So... Thanks dude, super rad and generous of you to do that and 
I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it's from Territory. So I got this dope trucker hat in here, which is sick, and a really nice t-shirt, which I really like. I love this colorway. It's super rad. I actually uh, randomly met Jordan from Territory while I was in Chamonix, like literally ran into him on the street, and uh, he was super nice and also sent me some of their stuff to try out. And I've really been digging this all day shirt it's called and like the name suggests it's designed as a shirt you can wear casually or to run in and it is pretty much the most comfortable t-shirt i've ever worn in my life it's <laughs> super dope like so comfortable to run in so i've been digging that and i thought while i'm going here i'd show you some other new stuff i've picked up recently starting with some books because i love books <laughs> This is Uncommon Places by Stephen Shaw, The Complete Works, and it's probably my favorite photo book right now. It's a bunch of photos he took in the 1970s driving across America, and it's, it's a bit of everything in here, like buildings, shop fronts, cars, some portraits, interiors, and just weird, obscure scenes, and it's super cool. It's all photographed on an eight by 10 view camera, so, the detail is just insane. Like when I look at the photos, I feel like I'm literally in the scene. It's crazy. Elliot Erwitt's Dogs. Elliot Erwitt is amazing. And this is a book full of photographs of dogs, which is as good as it gets. So uh, yeah, if you love dogs and you want a super cool photo book, get this. It was This is a small paperback edition. It was only like 15 bucks, super sick. Couple of new cookbooks, Smith and Delicious by Mo Wise and Shannon Martinez, and Mississippi Vegan by Timothy Packron. This is a really cool book. It's aesthetically very pleasing. He photographed it all himself, and I think the fact that it's southern vegan food is just interesting uh, in itself. I haven't actually cooked from it yet, so I can't comment there, but I would buy it again anyway, just because it's so cool. And Smith and Delicious, I've cooked from a bunch. Everything's turned out super good. It's like good classic comfort food recipes in this one. And it's also a really nice book. I love the design and the photos. And I really like the uh, kind of like pastel colors they've used throughout the book. It's super rad. Actually, uh, I quit drinking coffee. It was probably like two months ago when I was feeling really unwell. I was like willing to try anything to feel better and uh, just straight up quit. First couple of days were fine and then the third day it was freaking gnarly. I could not get out of bed. It was it's pretty crazy really when you think about it. But anyway, then I was like, you know what, life's too short. <laughs> and started drinking it again. It didn't really seem to make much difference anyway, but back to what I was going to say. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put a little montage together of the last few days because I've done a few interesting things, but really not too much has been going on. Well, I went for a cruise in a 34 Ford with no roof on, so that was freaking cool. But other than that, uh, just really short runs. My chest is slowly getting better, so I've just been mixing it up with the bike as well because ironically I can ride a bike without pain. Figure that out. Uh, but just being patient with that. And other than that, like I haven't done much. I caught up with mum for lunch and that is about it. I didn't get into UTMB, which is all good. Uh, always knew it was going to be a big stretch to try and do UTMB this year after like, last year. Uh, so I just took the result of the draw as a sign and I didn't get in so it's not meant to be but that means I will have to run a five point race at some stage this year which will be 100k to retain the points so I can enter the draw for the next year so I've got to figure out what I'm going to do there 
I think that's about it. Let me know if you dug this kind of video. And plenty more of them coming soon. If you enjoy these and you get something out of them. If you want to support me, best way to do it is on Patreon. I'll leave the link for that in the description. I appreciate everyone who supports me on there. A great deal because it is my only source of income right now. Uh, so thank you. And just thank you everybody for the continued uh amazing support it's like youtube is just rad you know like being able to share my interests with such rad people is freaking cool so thank you and catch you soon peace